Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Olive Nkirote and this is Olive Nkirote Rebranded. Today we are going to be talking about a solution based business and before i even get into the company one of you guys actually commented in my alibaba video and this is the comment they said olive what if i don't have a debit card let me let me take you back fam if you have watched my video for alibaba correct or amazon i showed you guys how to be purchasing stuff from this particular website and i shared with you guys you definitely need a bank card it could be your debit card or it could be an international debit card one that is also known as a prepaid card this prepaid card you can load any currency on it you can load dollars euros right so when i showed you guys this on my alibaba video someone commented only what if you don't have a debit card and i responded that i will actually be showing you guys a solution on an incoming video soon and the solution is essentially a virtual card so i will get straight into the video tell you guys what the solution is what they do what they're all about and all that good stuff okay so without further ado let's get into the video so, this video is actually sponsored by people so this company actually offers a solution to people who cannot access the bank people who are not able to get a debit card or a prepaid card people comes in and becomes your card becomes your virtual card it's a solution to many people who cannot access the banking system and they've come to africa particularly kenya this is their first stop guys and they are rolled out operations and authorization in kenya and i can see other african countries that are about to join in on the fun are mozambique nigeria egypt south africa tanzania so i'm excited to see people's adoption all over africa in this video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can download the people app then we're gonna move to the next step where i'll show you guys how to load money into your people card so guys welcome to google play store definitely go and search people the people app is available on both google play store and app store so download the app it is 84.25 mb so i'm downloading it right now once you finish downloading the app right there are two things that you really need for you to be able to set up your people account you need a phone number and you need your id so those two things those are like the only two things you need so at this point you can see the app is loading and it's showing you the characteristics of the card okay so first step is your phone number so i will key in my phone number my kenyan phone number once you do that they'll send you an authorization number to your phone so confirm it by putting the verification code there and then the second thing you need is your id okay so you have to verify your identity at this point you will allow your phone to access the camera to scan your id so you can either scan your passport your national id or the new driving license the one that comes in a card you can also scan that so for this i used my national id so you're going to scan both front and back And once you've finished scanning, you'll take a photo of yourself. So this was me taking a photo of myself at the moment. And you're done. So confirm. And now final step, which is step five, is accept the terms and conditions of using people. Click next. And now that is it. You have your card, guys. That was so easy, fam. That was super, super easy. And you can see that you can actually use this card on Amazon uber order food spotify netflix and so much more so on your home page you can see down there I'm on my home page this is how my home page looks i'm currently at zero kenya shillings it, it looks like an actual card it has all the 12 numbers the four numbers that are usually on a card it has a cvv it has an expiry date 
it is an actual virtual mastercard and then the next step is loading money into the card so there are different options you can load the money um, through a bank account you can load the money through mpesa but in this particular video i'll be showing you guys how i loaded money into my card with mpesa so guys in this part of the video i'll be showing you how to load money into your people account using mpesa so open your people account once you open your people account go to the top right corner you'll see add money so just click add money and then go to mpesa when you go to mpesa click next and then minimum is 10,000 maximum is 93,000 let's say i want to put a thousand okay, maybe we can type yeah so let's say i want to put a thousand i'll just click plus i'll click ok and then click load and it's saying do you want to pay 1000 to flat however account number people can ask put your mpesa pin then they said it will take a few seconds so you can see up there where a notification from my phone that i have sent 1000 into my people account and when i refresh and there it is guys mpesa load from and you can see the amount that's been loaded and you can now see that i have 7000 10 shillings in my account so that is how you load money so now Definitely. guys everything is ready i'm excited i'm excited so we have set up our card it's up and running we have loaded money into the card and now i want to show you guys some few personal items that i was trying to buy from amazon i'll also show you how i added the virtual card as a payment method on amazon so that i was able to pay and the fun fact is guys it works just like a normal card because as soon as my goods were confirmed by amazon money was deducted from my people account and i got a notification and i'm going to show you all that so definitely definitely watch till the end so that you know how to use this card how to buy things online and all that good stuff so guys in this video i'll be showing you how i purchased my goods from amazon using the people card so first things first this is the home page i'd already picked out the things i wanted and you can see in the cart there are two items the two items totaled to 27 dollars so i clicked proceed to checkout once i clicked that it showed me my card numbers so i ended up not going with the ones that were there but i went to add a payment method so down here there's add a payment method then i clicked add a credit or debit card then once i did that i went back to people and then i copied my details from the people card into the amazon card okay so you can see here my people card is loading and i have to hide my details because guys this is actually like a bank card type of vibe so i don't want to put myself vulnerable so i copied the details and went back to my amazon site and i put the name on the account which is people and then i put the card number so it has 12 numbers on there so the 12 numbers i put them there and then finally i put the expiration date and said set as default payment method and clicked ok as it loads you can see that now it's noticed my mastercard and it ends with 8278 and that's from people then once it did that i went down and clicked continue because i've already added the payment method then it was asking for a billing address so basically where do you want um, your goods to be delivered so i've been using this app known as shop and ship and they have a lot of addresses i'll do a video on it i just came here copied my american address went back to amazon pasted my address details um, as to where i wanted my goods to be shipped and then i clicked use this address and i was pretty much done So you can see that immediately it totaled up the items 27.49 they were charging me shipping 
for ten dollars do i want to pay shipping nope so again i changed the shipping and handling from it it being delivered sooner which i would have had to pay ten dollars so i changed that to get the free shipping for amazon because i really wasn't in a rush to get the items so i went back up and confirmed everything was fine so 27 dollars free shipping and then tax was two dollars and 44 and you can see the total amount came to a good amount and i already made my order on amazon i hope you guys have actually learned a new way of paying for things online there are so many things online that require you to make payments with a bank card and if you don't have access to your bank card you can consider using people and before i wrap up this video i want to show you guys how your card will look like when you've made an online purchase right when you come to your history section you're going to see all the transactions that you have been doing okay so from this particular place you can see that i bought something from amazon on 4th march and i was charged 2008 and i was charged an international purchase fee of 55 shillings so please note that any international purchase you make using the virtual card there's an extra charge of 55 shillings okay again i made another purchase for another item and i was charged 55 shillings however loading money is essentially free okay however you're going to be charged like the mpesa transactions for it's like for sending money to the flutterwave account once i loaded the 1000 kenya shillings i've been charged 34 shillings on it so just know that that part the fee is mostly from the mpesa to flutterwave account okay then when you come to home page right there are three dots at the top here so this is your homework guys for anyone who signs up to people i want you to come here and just see all the opportunities and all the services that people offer but because the video is already pretty long i want to just show you something that might be of importance to you one is the fees section so when you click fees because this is a virtual card just imagine you would want to know the fees that you're going to incur when you use the card and it is important for you to know them so from the get-go you can see that account opening is free however there is an inactivity fee of 185 kenya shillings per month this is if you don't load money into your account if you don't make a transaction i also asked the people support and i'll show you where to ask for support what about if you're inactive and you left your balance at zero and they told me when you deposit money you will be deducted their 185 kenya shillings so that is what i got from support however if you'd like to confirm please please reach out to support sour um then there's load money to people so you can load from a kiosk which is free you can receive from another user which is free and you can load from the load voucher which is free then purchases again local purchase is 18 kenya shillings per purchase but international purchases is 55 shillings and i've showed you that and then sending money to another people user is 35 kenya shillings per send okay and any other is replacing the card which is free and you can actually get a physical card so i did not know this but i'm excited to know that there's actually um, a physical card you can activate and it is free per month for the plastic card and if you want to use it to withdraw money physically i guess in any atm it is 165 kenya shillings i just felt like it was important for me to mention the fees so that if any of you guys signs up you should be aware of the fees that will be there however um, definitely check out all the other sections and feel free to let me know what you find so i did not tackle sending sending is the third column at the bottom here i believe you can place the number for the person you're sending money to or we can actually do this in the next video as well because there's a part two coming up okay and if you'd like to contact support like i mentioned and you have a query and you want to be assisted there is a con up there up there guys if you've seen there is like a chat box thingy click there and you'll see the conversations that i was having with the with the people team i was even asking them about um, pesa because it was delaying for a while so they do actually respond so feel free to type in your message your inquiry your complaint and you will be assisted okay 
okay so that is my experience using the people card so far so good if you want to invite a friend there's a money bag icon here and place the number of the friend you want to invite and then it will send them a message and for every friend you invite i believe you receive 85 kenya shillings here it is guys so when i signed up i immediately invited my friends and you can see here thursday february 17th congrats your special bonus for referring a friend um i invited them and i was given 85 kenya shillings so quick tip quick tip guys that's just a sneaky tip <laughs> personally going to be an avid user of people it is very fast very easy to use very seamless and as much as i have a bank card i am actually open to using a virtual card like it's mad exciting okay so anyway guys i do really hope you're going to use the virtual people card i reminded you the benefits or any opportunity that you feel like you can use it give it a shot and if you do please please tag me on instagram or comment down below your experience of using the people card also i want to create a part two comment down below questions that you have about the people card what do you want to know that I haven't tackled on this video? And what would you like to see ONR do, right, with the people card? So definitely comment down below. I am keen on making a part two in collaboration with people. So please, please leave all your questions, leave all your inquiries and all your thoughts. And I will be doing a video coming soon. And I will incorporate your questions, your requests in the part two of this video. Again, I want to wrap up this video saying thank you so much to people for sponsoring this video and for collaborating with ONR and shout out to you guys for doing such a good job and having such an amazing idea for people who are not able to access the banking system. That is it for now and I'll see you guys in the next one and I want to remind you guys to start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. Bye guys, see you on the next one.